That's looking great, it's very expressive. Let's just go over some of the profession, what you're creating with your bus, okay? My name is Lorenza Arango Yarns, and I am a fifth grade elementary school teacher. Today, they were creating a bust of a profession, and then writing an opinion piece about choosing the profession. Here are the eyebrows, and there's the eye. Look at your own eyebrows, how much head? I'm Amanda Yates Garcia, and I'm a teaching artist, and I'm working with the fifth grade teachers here at this school in collaboration with the Getty Museum. So why are we creating the sculptures? Do you remember why? So like it's part of our space colony project that we've been doing professions. We think that are good in, in the space, space colony. That's true. Right? We've been our district created this project-based curriculum, creating a space colony. It's an end of the year project and the students go through 10 days of lessons. They had talked about factors, how you're going to survive and thrive in a space colony and they're creating a proposal. Part of their proposal involves choosing an occupation. Why is that occupation not only important, but also viable? They're thinking about what roles in society are important and essential. One of the teaching artists suggested this idea of creating busts because, of course, there are many in the Getty collection, and when one founds a colony, often busts are created commemorating the culture's founding figures. What were some of the professions that you've thought about? Erin. Doctors. Doctors. A governor. Governor. Teacher. So I should go in the space colony? Is that what you're saying? Mitchell. Miner. Gardener or a farmer. I was thinking of a physicist. These are great. When we start reading and discussing these different professions, I really want to hear why these are the professions you would like in the space colony. Hey, so Amanda, so now we're gonna get to the bus. <laughs> all right, so now is the moment that you've all been waiting for. You're gonna pull out your bus and wait till I say, we're gonna pull out your bus and then you're gonna use a tool to carve in the name of your professions. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna... This is the fourth day working with clay. And so the first day, the Getty educators showed them images of bus from the Getty Villa. And so they gave them sort of a context, you know, what is sculpture and what does it look like, and talked about what is a bust. And then they did this exploration with clay. And I think that sort of set the groundwork. Many of my students haven't had that experience. And then the second day, that's when they formed the head. And then the third day, they were able to put the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. Do all of you guys have a vision for how the hair should look? On your figure? Could we put like a helmet or a hat instead? Yeah, totally. So we're just gonna take a chunk of clay that's big enough to fit over the head. So here I've got my head, right? It looks like maybe that's too small. So what should I do? Add more clay. Add more clay. The process from the perspective of the teaching artists was get them working with three-dimensional media and really thinking about essentially the engineering, how to create something from beginning to end, a structural object. So don't pull it apart and put it back together again, because then what happens again? It will turn crusty. And it turn crusty, okay. So. I was thrilled with the results today. I think that they came out with some really great work. <laughs> okay, eyes up on me. So I need, and this is gonna be really tough, hands off, hands off. Oh, I know, it's hard, okay. Transitioning is not easy, especially when you're doing something really, really fun. I did hear groans. One of them said, I don't want to write. And I said, it's okay, let's, we're going to talk first. And she's like, okay. I knew that talking would be a lot more acceptable for them. In your groups, share which profession you chose for your space colony that you created with your bus. Your opinion, why would your profession be needed on the space colony? They could have a chef that probably knows how to make space food because you can't have regular food because it'd be flying all around. I chose a physicist and I think the physicist would be important. So just in case there's a problem in there, they can, they're able to fix the problem. We talk about it so then we're able to understand more of it. It helps because that's technically a draft of what we're going to write about. Scientists, 
um, and many others. So Listening to other people's ideas, other students' ideas, helps them learn in a much more effective way, much more successfully. Let's share a whole group who they chose and referring to some of the evidence that we've read and watched. Genesis. I picked an ice skater because people might feel bored in Mars or the moon, be so they have entertainment. I chose a dentist because what will happen if you're in space for a long time and, and your teeth get ro rotten? Part of that space colony project is writing an opinion piece. After they were done talking, I had them write their opinion about choosing the profession and to cite evidence. Just like what you've done when you've talked, now write in your opinion why would your profession be needed on the space colony. Okay, are there any questions? And it's just for five minutes. All right, so go ahead and do that. Look at all your notes, these are awesome. Which profession did you choose? Psychologist. Oh, why a psychologist? Because maybe like something, if, they, if they're thinking something goes wrong, but, but, um, but what happens? That's right. Okay, good. When we think about the Common Core, these standards are not just isolated to reading and writing and to science. It's also connected in the arts. Being able to look at a piece of art and if you're going to have an opinion about that piece of art, what is your evidence for that? And hopefully they've made that connection. We read in our notes that there are ice caps on the moon. My profession miner is useful. He could mine ice caps to obtain water. They could save hundreds of people from dehydration. Listening to them make those connections to the space colony, citing evidence, really enhanced all of their learning. For me, as an artist and as a teacher, I want these kids to develop a relationship to art, to art that they look at and to art that they make.